Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yozo Boho. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello. If you are a friend coming back, hello. Thanks for coming back. Um, we are going to go thrifting tonight. This is a part two of a day out with my friend Cindy. She took me to the southern places that she does some sourcing and there were six of them. So if you missed Tuesday, we visited three of the places on Tuesday. I will link that up here so you can go back and check it out. And the three places that we went for this video, I will share with you, they were all in the Worcester uh, Ohio area. So there was a <laughs> little bit of a technical issue. I was so excited because I bought us microphones and we were mic'd up. And if you saw on Tuesday, you actually could hear us because we were mic'd. <laughs> that only happened for our first two stops. The third stop, as you saw on Tuesday, was just a haul because I didn't record. And then the fourth stop, which is where we will be today, I have lots and lots of footage and there is no sound <laughs> in any of my footage. There's no sound. I had checked originally and everything was good. So I didn't bother to check when we were there in that shop. Um, it was my favorite shop of the entire day and I can't wait to take you there. It will be a lot of voiceover since there's no sound, <laughs> but it'll be fun. Now, before we go there, and that is the first, so that was the fourth place we stopped, and then we hit a Goodwill, and then we hit another Mission Thrift, and that last Mission Thrift was our sixth stop, and they were about to close, so we were like in and out pretty quick, and I found one thing. So like, we'll go backwards here. <laughs> I'm gonna share that Mission Trip find, and then I'm gonna share with you the Goodwill haul, because I also didn't record there, and then we'll go into the shop along at this, really cool place called Timeless Treasures. And yeah, I got some amazing things there. So we're going to do it in reverse. So you ready to be backwards? <laughs> Check out this thing that I got at the Mission Thrift. It is a really pretty kind of peachy pink crackle glass pitcher. Now this is a color that I don't have. It's a little larger than most of the pieces that I collect. You know, I like the small ones, but it was $2. I was not going to pass that up. <laughs> it was the only thing I grabbed at that mission thrift, but I was pretty happy that it was there at the end of the day waiting for me. And yes, it'll go into my crackle glass collection, even though it is a little large. It'll just be a little larger like me. <laughs> All right, let's check out the things I got at the Goodwill next. This Worcester Goodwill was a nice one. However, I want to warn you that if you visit this store, their color tag system does not apply to hard goods, only clothes, which really kind of stunk because almost all of the things that I found at the Goodwill were orange. So it's okay. I still only spend about 20 bucks, 21 something, and I did get some nice things. So check these out. They are wall sconces. They hold pillar candles. They're nice. They are a wrought iron. They kind of have a rustic cool look to them, which I like. Um, I have not tried to look these up through Google Lens. Of course, I'm going to share information as I find it, but I think these will be really nice hanging over in one of the booths, um, unless I learn something else. Like if they're restoration hardware or something really good, then they may go on eBay. I got another nice wrought iron piece. This is a wine rack. Looks like it holds about six bottles of wine. It is nice. It is quality heavy, not a cheaply made piece. I don't see any marks or any indication on who made it. It's a nice one. Found this piece of pottery. It is a corked piece, has these little holes here. What do you think you would use this for? Maybe some cheese? I'm not sure, but it's really nicely done. I love the colors on it. And it is marked with this V, G, V, S. So it's like a little studio piece. I love it. I think it's very cool. If you have any idea what it could be used for, put that in the comments down below because this is another piece that is a pottery piece. It's different than anything that I would normally collect, but it's really nice. It's made by Victoria Little John Ceramics. I paid $2.50 for this. Now remember, I thought all of these things were half off. So I was really excited to be getting some of these things for 
you know, this would have been a buck twenty-five. Um, some of the ironworks was like two dollars, two fifty. But for everything that I got to spend only about twenty-one dollars, I was okay with that. This was a fun little find. I picked it up for the camper to use this summer. I paid like four bucks for this, I think, but it's just for us <laughs> because you put cherries in its mouth and it like poops out the cherry pit <laughs> and then you can eat the cherries without the pits. It's literally called the cherry chomper and yeah, it pits cherries. And I thought that was adorable. At first I thought that this was a nice little piece for Easter and I was gonna get it right over to the shop, but on closer inspection, it's actually like a Christmas piece. This is a My Blushing Bunnies Country Sentiments. It was made in 1998. Um, it's a Priscilla Hillman piece and these are licensed by Inesco. There's the information. These are pretty collectible still. And this one is very cute with its little hanging <laughs> pieces by the fire and its details. Some of these resin pieces, take a look, look them up. A lot of them are collectible. Okay, y'all, this is why I like to do some research before I do a haul. This piece last sold for $109, which is crazy. Um, there was another one. It looks like um, may have sold a little bit less, but take a look at the rest of these. These are these My Blushing Bunnies by Inesco, and it looks like they're all discontinued from the late 90s, and many of them have really great values. So these resin things, I'm telling you, take a look at them. Look them up. You might be surprised. I know I was with this one. Those are my Goodwill finds. Now let's go back in time to Timeless Treasures. And I'm gonna take you there, show you around, such a cool place. There was some hunting to do because certain numbers, like certain vendors were half off. So we were kind of flipping around and looking at tags to see who the vendor was because we were looking for the deals. Come on, let's go shopping. You can find Timeless Treasures at 5367 Back Orville Road in Worcester, Ohio. Here you can see right in front of the store is a bulletin board and our vendors are number two, number 17, and number 85. So that's what we're looking for on the price stickers. And like I said, it was kind of a fun hunt because you never knew. They were all over the place. They weren't just in one like vendor area. The first thing that I spotted that I really loved was this old egg beater. This is made by Lad, L-A-D-D. Now, this is number 17, so it was half price, which would have made it $12.50, but I thought that was still a little steep. You can get those on eBay for about that. Like the shorebirds here, but they weren't really wonderfully painted. I did like this fries hand mixer back here. Put your fries and your salt in there. That was a pretty cool piece. The second thing that I spotted that I loved was this green vase. It's a Zaneware piece. It's marked as is. Now it did have a 17 on it, which means that would have been half price. But ooh man, that wobble scared me. <laughs> Here's Cindy showing me this cute little piggy bank. There was a great collection of little piggies. Look at them all down there. And this hand painted one was cute. Oh, and this little one, this is a a shaker. I'm like, where's your partner? They had $1.50 on that and I almost considered grabbing him because he was too stinking cute. Over here I spotted this cute duck. It has a really cool paint job. Oh and that's a neat little owl that Cindy has. This is made I believe by Stanford Pottery out of Sebring, Ohio. They had $20 on it but it was half off which would have made it 10 that was still a little too much. I think one of them is probably somewhere between 12 and 18 maybe. That was a cool little, I don't know if it was marble or what, but yeah, a set of those ducks was actually there. We found another one um, up by the counter, but for $20, still too much. I love this piece. I have a piece just like this, but this guy was missing some of his embellishments. Usually there's, um, you know, two earrings on each side and something around the neck. Yes, he is a number two vendor, so he would be half off, but even at $9.25, uh, I had to put him back. 
he was missing too many pieces. But I'll be keeping my eye out for those. And we spotted these pieces up here. This is a local pottery company in Smithville, Ohio. And I just adore those glazes. They were really neat. They had quite a nice little collection. This little syrup dispenser is made by Federal Tool Corp. And I liked the shape and uh, color on it. Not worth $20 though. <laughs> And this place was full of glass, full of glass. If you love glass, this was this is a great place to come. I spotted this little flamingo down here. 25 was a bit much for him, but he was really nicely done. I don't know who made him, but he's definitely sellable. If he was a half price item, I probably would have grabbed him. The blue glass with the opalescent is beautiful. Talk about beautiful. We both spotted this piece and gasped <laughs> crazy pretty it was missing some hardware but oh my gosh look at the front of this piece and then I noticed it had its original wooden casters on it too and oh so beautiful then I saw in this little cabinet these pieces and I've had these pieces before I have to go back and see if I can find the video but the salt and pepper are the tops of them and then the bottoms are a cream and sugar now they had 10 or 16 dollars I couldn't read that on these either one either way <laughs> a little too much so they had to stay there too and then we found this room and this room oh my gosh oh my gosh seeing something immediately that I want which is right here <laughs> I'm hoping the tag is low <gasps> is that a number two that's a number two it's a number two that's half off what are you kidding me Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. This is a pottery piece. Looking around for any damage. That tag there is where it was purchased from, which was a gift shop. All right, so a little bit of damage. Now I understand the price is a little lower. Oh, but it's so pretty. Oh gosh, you guys, this was my favorite room of the whole place. It was one of the first rooms we went into, and if it was the only room, I would have been happy to have stopped here because the stuff was so cool. And I was thrilled, so thrilled to flip this over and see that this was vendor number two, which meant that this was half off. That means I got it for $8.25, and oh my gosh, I love it. It is a pottery piece. It is a beautiful three stick candelabra it definitely has a mid-century feel to it it's absolutely beautiful it's gonna look absolutely beautiful over here somewhere it's probably gonna have to go up on the top because it is so tall and then if i add some candles to it my gosh it's gonna be you know two feet tall <laughs> so ah, oh, it's so cool though i was so delighted to find this as one of my first finds can we just admire the things in this room a little more? Amazing. Everything from like tribal and African and Asian and wood carvings, stone carvings, ceramics, you name it. Look at these birds up here. These are both wood carved birds and they were so unique, so beautiful. I think I'm coming around to see what the pricing is on them. If I find it, I will add it here, of course. Too bad we don't have sound. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Cindy just said what it was. And then look at these pottery pieces. I love that wonky kind of bubble vase back there, but this piece caught my attention right off the bat. It is so pretty. And again, I'm seeing a number two. Another pottery piece and another one that was marked with vendor two. So this was also half off, which means I spent $6.25 on this gorgeous mirror. Oh my gosh. I have another mirror that is a pottery mirror. It's actually over here. You can't quite see it. <laughs> Let me see if I can. It's right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> that piece is incredible and I'll actually take a picture and do a close-up here for you but this one I think is probably gonna hang 
right there next to it and that'll look perfect because they're both round and they look like little portals this one needs dusted cleaned <laughs> how great is that though it also is signed i'm not exactly sure what that mark is that's okay <laughs> if i can find some more pottery pieces with mirrors in them like this I will build a whole gallery wall because <laughs> that would be super cool, especially if I can get them for like six bucks a piece. Well, let's look at some beautiful things that were in this room. First, I saw this cloisonne box. The lid looked to have some damage. And then this beautiful glass, like a little oil lamp that Cindy found. And up here and all around, like carved pieces, wooden pieces, Oh, look at these candelabras with all the detail back here. And they're only $15 each, which is crazy. The prices here were so good. And again, like I said, different vendors in different areas. This piece was gorgeous. This is a number two as well, meaning number two vendor half off. So it said 48, but that was 24. And this piece too was half off. And I don't know, I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I left here with a bunch of stuff, but there's so many things that I was like, why didn't I get that? $18 half off, so $9 for that. Beautiful carved horse, mid-century. Look at this piece. This is a pottery piece too, but look at the details on this. It was like a press treatment on the clay where only parts of it were glazed. It was absolutely beautiful. It had this underplate. some brass here all the things I love the brass and the wood and the pottery there's a stone plant I should have looked more at that my aunt just sold one for good money it's like I can't even <laughs> focus right now I think a lot of the things in this room I would have curated they're just you know an eclectic mashup of things that I love this is a stone piece but look at how that changes in the light so cool I literally recorded like 10 minutes in this room. But <laughs> this is such a huge place. I have to be so selective with what I am showing. This is a little room off of my favorite room and Cindy spotted this really cute elephant um, decor piece. We both decided it was probably modern, but it was really neat. I see, uh, looks like maybe Indiana glass fairy lamp right here. They had $25 on this piece, and that's way too much. Um, probably a $15 to $20 piece, plus shipping on eBay. So, yeah, had to pass up that. Like the look of that guy, but he was, like, really lightweight. And then Cindy finally, she's been here several times, and she's seen this Hager piece every time in this really pretty purple. And she finally decided to get it. So that was exciting. And of course, I saw this Roseville piece from, you know, over her piece. <laughs> and 65 on this is a little crazy. That is a Magnolia um, pattern, by the way. And worth less than half. <laughs> this room, I just wanted to give you a peek at it. Lots of stuff here, guys. If you're in the area. This room here was a holiday room, so we have all these creepy <laughs> nutcrackers that are fake smiling at us, just hanging out there. <laughs> and then on the opposite side, I peeped these gold nuns, and I see they're a music box, and the price is right, so yeah, I'm gonna grab these too. I don't find a lot of paper mache things this quality. It is like perfect. And look at their faces. <laughs> they are, woo! <laughs> I paid $6.50 for this. This was not half off. That would have been amazing. But I believed that $6.50 was a good price for this. It is a music box. These are like the gold nuns. And they're all singing. <laughs> And they're fun and they're kitschy and they're 50s. And I am going to put this in my holiday inventory 
and I am super sure that this will sell on eBay. This big holiday room was great. It had some Halloween stuff and it had some, I think Easter, mostly Christmas, a lot of stuff to look at, which was wonderful. And then just outside this room started a little hallway that went back into the back areas. This is a big place, everybody. And Cindy found this stacked enamel hand-painted piece. It was half off at $35, which is such a good price, and we know it is old. I did a little bit of looking around, and it looks like maybe these were Thai or Korean, but I'm not sure. Just very cool. And then I'm looking at how they had structured this wall with all of these crates and these little cubbies. And I saw these um, iron pieces. I picked one of these up actually at a Goodwill, but it had its hinge and they were asking 16 and 26 for those. So pretty happy about that. But yeah, look at the way these cubbies look. They're wonderful. Love them full of all that galvanized stuff and cool things. Now we're kind of headed back into some areas where it almost looks like little vendor carve outs. And they may have been. In this space, Cindy found a really pretty red um, little shelving unit. It needs some hangers on the back, but oh my gosh, I love this color. It has just a unique look to it. And she was telling me about it and it was $11. And I was pretending like I didn't want it, so she put it down <laughs> so that I could go over then and steal it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't know what the conversation was there, but I definitely loved it. And for $11, I thought, yeah, this is great. I could do something with it. Oh, and then a cat treat fell out of it, and that was weird. <laughs> And here's the reason for the cat treat, y'all. This is Belle. She's a resident here at Timeless Treasures. This kind of ticks all the boxes for me. It's got this awesome little detail here, not only on the top, but also on the bottom. And you could literally hang this, I think, either, either way. Probably going to go over to um, our shop and hang in one of our booths for somewhere between $25 and $28. So 11 was a good price and the color and the vibe is just really cool. So I think when it goes over to the shop, I can hang it on the wall. I can display some cool stuff in it, but I fully expect that it is going to sell. In these shelves, I found a gorgeous piece of Tonala pottery. I collect Tonala and I didn't grab this because it was chipped, but I do want to pause here and tell you that if you see C-A-T on a piece of Tonala, it stands for Ceramica Artistica Tonala. I have a video about Tonala that I will link here if you are interested. In a different area, I found some more glass. This Amberina piece was beautiful. There's a possibility it's Ellie Smith. I love the little feet on here and I love that it lit up when I hit it with the black light. They had $6 on it. Maybe I should have grabbed it, but I left it there. Loved that little green piece next to it too. Look at all these great pieces. And this one right here, that is definitely an Ellie Smith piece. Like I said, lots of glass here, lots of gorgeous glass. And then down here, what do I see? Looks like crackle glass to me. Oh, <laughs> I went to the pottery first. Wow, now we know. <laughs> My preference now is uh, pottery over crackle glass apparently. <laughs> Look at how pretty that blue is. Yeah, kind of in love. <laughs> I did spend $4 for it, and I usually find these in the thrift store for a little less than that, but this is still a great price. This is probably a $15 to $18 piece, and I absolutely love it. Speaking of glass, this was a fun booth. It had a bunch of glowy glass in it. However, I want to show you some things here. There are actually people making the uranium glass right now. This is an example of it. So this is an eagle. This mold was made by Boyd Glass, Boyd Art Glass. I had an original one of these. All of Boyd will have its mark on it. It will be a B in a little diamond. And depending on the date, you will see maybe some lines around it. This one is not marked. That means that this one is 
created more modern, possibly even within the last year. <laughs> Same with this penguin. A, another glass maker has bought the molds for these and they are selling them on eBay. So just something to be aware of. Then I saw this guy, I was excited because I collect these little gobel birds. I'm looking for number three. This is one I already have, but I was shocked that they had $40 on this. That is crazy. Even at half off, that's a little nuts. <laughs> um, this is what they go for on eBay. Cindy is telling me that these were the shelves where she found my favorite mug of all time. This was one of the things that was included in that amazing mystery gift box that she gave me at the beginning of the year. I will link that here if you missed it. So we are scouring these shelves for something as cool. And we did see some cool things, but nothing quite as cool as that mug. <laughs> So this is actually the last filmed area. There was one other place that we hit that I missed recording this beautiful basket on the wall that Cindy pointed out. When Cindy pointed this out and said it would make a great like centerpiece, oh my gosh, she is so right. It would look awesome. But what I'm thinking is right where these dividers are here that I put in some shelves. And I think that'll be really easy with some dowel rods that will run right across to these little side, you know, edges, right? So dowel rod, dowel rod, shelf. And then maybe I just do like three shelves in here. And then can you picture it up on a wall with your knickknacks displayed in it? It is a really solid piece. And that's why I think it'll work to do that. And I'm excited about that. I think I will go ahead and add those shelves and then hang it at the booth probably somewhere this summertime. And again, just like the red piece, I can put some things in it for display. And then I'm sure that the piece itself is gonna sell pretty quick. I paid full asking price for this, which was $16.50. And I think when I put in the shelves and I make it like a nice display unit, I'm gonna go somewhere between 40 and $50 for it when it's finished. And that's a pretty good turnaround. And that my friends is the trip. Um, that was a very cool place. Worcester in general seems like a great place to thrift. I want to send a big, huge thank you to my friend Cindy who took me on this sourcing trip down south of where I normally source. It was such a fun day. I hope we do it again soon. So if y'all um, are here with us at this point, I want to say thank you. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. If you're still here and you have not yet subscribed, please do that. Just uh, hit that little subscribe, click on the alarm, set it to all, because I do a couple of videos a week. And then while you're clicking around down there, click a like or a dislike, I really don't care. And do me a favor, comment down below, tell me what you saw or something that you know. <laughs> the best thing you could do is share me out, share out my channel with a friend who likes to do what we do, which is thrift and look for awesome things on the cheap. Tell them to come on over and subscribe to our growing Yoso Boho tribe. All right, everybody, I will see you on Tuesday. So have a spectacular weekend, do something fun, but please be safe and I will see you then. Bye!